Welcome back. In this video, we are going to apply a light crimp on our loaded rifle rounds. What this is going to do is, you can see the case mouth here pretty much just goes straight up and down parallel with the bullet. And after the crimp, the top is just going to ever so slightly uh, taper over. And what that's going to do is apply a little bit more uh, tension on that bullet. And the purpose of that is since this is going to be fed in a uh, semi-automatic gun, um, when it's feeding, you might get that possibility of the bullet getting set back. And if that bullet gets set back into the brass, you can actually increase the pressure of the round. Uh, some tube fed guns like the lever action rifles, um, as they're feeding through the tubes, the, the rounds are pushing up against the other rounds in there and that can also cause bullet setback. Now, I've spoken with people before and they said that they've never crimped a round in their life and they've never had issues. Um, I kind of look at it as a, a little insurance policy. Um, what I have found is that if you do a light enough crimp, it should not affect accuracy. Um, and on the opposite of that, if you have too much of a crimp, you can actually increase uh, the tension on the neck so much that it can cause an overpressure on the round. And it, I'm sure it would also affect accuracy at that point. So what we're going to use for this step is the Lee factory crimp die. Lee makes very inexpensive reloading dies, but I think almost everyone in the community will agree that the Lee factory crimp die is one of the best in the business, if not the best. So we're gonna set this die up first. I took it off of my Dillon 550 uh, to show you on the single stage over here. And so of course it needs to be set back up. Um, according to Lee's instructions, what you do is you raise the ram and we're gonna screw the die in until the die hits the top of the ram which is right about there. And we're gonna lower the ram, and the instructions say to give the die another half turn, and then tighten the locker ring down. And what I like to do for that is just to take a Sharpie and just put a little index mark on your die, and that way when you tur turn it, it's a lot easier to determine where the half turn was. So per the instructions, we are going to give it a half turn, which would be right there. And I'm just gonna finger tighten the lock screw down. Okay, the way this die works is there's four collets inside and basically when you send the round up into the die, these collets kind of squeeze the case mouth and it, it applies a little crimp on the end of it. So I'll show you that now. And once again, let's, let's look at the case mouth and see if we can tell a difference of before and after. You see how the mouth just basically just goes straight up and down. And what we want to do is just put a slight taper crimp on the very tip of that mouth. So let's see the half turn is going to do that. You see that? Here's what the top side of the die looks like. You can see the collets and how there's a gap between them. Uh, the closer you get the collets to squeeze together, uh, the more of a crimp you will get on the round. So let's see if I can insert one in here. It's hard to do one-handed. All right, so I'm gonna raise the ram and you'll see the collets kind of squeeze together. And I'm adjusting the crimp to where the collets are not fully closing, and they said in the instructions that uh, if they're fully closed, you've achieved maximum crimp. And then we'll lower the ram, and that is how the crimp die works. Let's go ahead and continue to crimp these. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to take these to the range in the next few days and fire them and see how they shoot. And in the meantime, I've been working on some load development for my 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, I picked up a new rifle last night. Uh, I'll make a video about that soon. I'll be doing a load development for that too. It's uh, chambered in 308. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to make as many videos as I possibly can. Uh, I hope these are helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.
Thank you.